Hello, lovely folks of YouTube, Ren here. I'm just going to make a really short video. I want to introduce you to a slightly different garden that I ended up stumbling into. Um, so this is a litter of six kittens that I am currently fostering for our local SPCA. Um, I'm trying to keep them, they are just wild right now. I'm trying to get like as much of the background here in my kids room, which is our foster room if I can. Um, but kittens are notoriously bad at cooperating. Um, these kittens actually have names after flowers. So we have Yarrow, Alyssum, Buttercup, Solidago, Begonia, um, and there's one more, hang on, let me look. Aster are our six kittens. I did not choose these names. Um, those names are just entered into the system. I don't know what kittens I'm getting until I literally show up and find out what kind of cats I have. And it just so happened that they have garden names. I thought that was hilarious and I wanted to share. I'm going to try and get some footage here. Look at this little guy. Hi. They're all tabbies. They have their little collars with their names on them because I can't tell them apart yet. Yes, I know you're not cooperating. Where is your name? You are Solidago. Oh, yes. This is the one that was snuggly with me earlier. So, yes. Yeah, you're the one who got real snuggly before. I think you're my snuggle bug. Yes. Oh, and, and I see others here are really interested in what's going on. You can see they've already torn apart their food dishes, which is normal for cats. We do try to kitten proof this room as much as we can. Um, it's a lot like child proofing, but there are certain things that um, I'm going to leave up to my girls to figure out what they want to do with it when they get home from school. Uh, they did not have any forewarning that we were getting these cats. Um, I just emailed, or not emailed, I texted my oldest daughter while she was at school earlier, and I was like, surprise, you're getting kittens. And she said, oh, God, my room is a mess. I said, don't worry about it. I'll do what I can, and then you can just get your rest when you get home. So we have it mostly kitten-proofed in here. But, uh, yeah, six kittens is a lot. Um, I mean, four kittens is a lot. Six kittens is insanity. Uh, but we should only have these guys for about two to three weeks. Then they go back. Um, we're just kind of getting them up to the point where they are big enough to be spayed or neutered. And then they, uh, they go back to the SPCA, go out on the adoption floor. Um, this is where I'm going to give a, my little PSA of make sure you adopt and don't shop. Uh, when you're adopting cats or kittens, I know there's sort of that stigma where people are like, oh, well, if you get your animal from the shelter, you don't know where they came from. That's actually not true. If you get your animal from the shelter, you know exactly where they came from. They came up from a home like mine. A volunteer who deeply cares about animals and will take care of just one animal or one litter of kittens at a time. Get them well socialized and used to being handled by people and you're probably going to get a really good animal. Whereas if you buy an animal, you're probably supporting a puppy mill or God only knows what else. You really don't know where those animals are coming from. They have papers, but they're usually faked, and it's it's just an awful system. Um, you can adopt an animal from the SPCA for usually about the tenth of the cost of, um, of actually buying an animal, and that animal comes already spayed and neutered with all their vaccines, initial first visit, vet visit, bill of health. Typically, they're already microchipped, so you have that microchip to be able to track your animal. If it gets lost, they can help you recover the animal. All of that for a very, very reasonable price, whereas you can get an animal from a pet store and you're just, you don't know what you're getting and you're paying out the nose for it. Please don't, please don't support that system. Make sure you're adopting animals and then maybe you can get some of my kittens. And look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. Look, they just want to play. Hang on, where are you, Buttercup? Here's Buttercup. Yeah. They are so sweet. So yeah, if you're lucky, you might get a couple more videos from these guys before they go back. Look, oh, I'm getting snuggly. I think this is Solidago again. Yeah, it sure looks like it. It's going to take me a little while to be able to tell them apart by sight. So their little paper collars with their names on it are probably going to stay on for at least the next few days. Oh my goodness, man. Look at this. Uh, anyway. If you're lucky, you might see more of these guys. If not, you can adopt them at the Richmond SPCA in about three weeks. So...